it's real talk. And it's real talk. Well, I'm the campaign manager for the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, and Sophie here was uh, kicked to stamp today for being a goth the media reporter, for being alternative, about 20 miles from Manchester. So I've been working with the mother, and you'll get to meet Sophie in a minute, and she'll tell you more about it. So we've been working with the peace campaigners in Manchester to bring about more um, information to, let, you know, um, sorry, should we wet that a bit? We've been working together to promote tolerance uh, within our society, uh, and we particularly look at alternative subcultures, whether that's folks, goths, marshes, everybody can see the educational group works will be going into school, and they'll be challenging prejudice amongst 11 and 12 year olds and to make sure people understand that we're, we're all one and we're all the same and we all have a right to be ourselves. Well the next step is that uh, we're working with the government and Sylvia can tell you more about this but we're working with the government looking at the hate crime legislation so she'll leave the march today to go to the Ministry of Justice in London tomorrow for a meeting. Um, she's an advisor to the government on hate crime. So we're looking at having the hate crime legislation extended to include alternative subcultures. And the reason for that is that people who are um, sentenced under hate crime legislation get longer sentences. It's seen as much more severe and it's about us bringing some parity to the legislation. Good afternoon Manchester! It's in place at the moment. How are you? I'm great. I know you're great. <laughs> Enjoying the garden. Enjoying the garden. Beautiful. Okay. So you're going to get ordained later this month. I am. Uh, what sort of ministry? The garden. Interfaith. Oh, yeah. yeah. In fact, I'm getting ordained again and we're getting ordained together with some... Do you know how many? 60. 60 other people. And the reason we've taken to the interfaith ministry is that everybody matters. As Passage just said, every flower in the garden is important. And you can't hide behind the walls of a particular religion. So uh, there, are, there are some Muslim people here. Assalamu alaikum to you. There are some Christian people here. Peace be with you. There are some Jewish people here. Assalamu alaikum. And there are all sorts of other people. Namaste. And there are atheists. But you know what? Most atheists I meet want to express love and justice and freedom. We're not enemies. None of us are enemies. And Sharon's just going to help call in the energy to, from the east of the city where an interfaith gathering is praying around reconciliation, forgiveness and redemption. And they're linked to us. They're people of all faiths and none. And I'm just going to ask you to quietly say your amen if you can agree with the blessing we call down. Source of all. We all came from you. We all return to you. And however we understand you, you love each one of us. You want the best for each one of us. Help us all to see beyond the boundaries that we belong to each other. Help Manchester to show that all people of all ages and all cultures and all faiths and all understandings and philosophies are connected and that society, the world prospers when we work together for the good of all. Please bless this day and bless everyone gathered here. Thank you. And now somebody who shows great leadership. I want to introduce you to a man. When I was a negotiator at the Strange Ways riots, this was the first person who got what we were trying to do and came and make sense. And uh, we've not seen a lot of each other over the years, but when I do see him, it's always a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, the MP for the centre of Manchester, Tony Lloyd. The real message is one of hope. 
and the hope is that you're here today to say that we want an end to violence on our streets. We want a city, a country, a world of peace. And it's a message of hope because actually those of us who want that message of peace, the cry on the streets, when do peace, peace, when do you want it? Now. That message is your message, it's my message, it's the message of the majority and we are stronger together. That message of hope is one that you bring. Um, you are the voice of hope and what you're doing today makes a real difference. So be proud of what you're doing, be proud of what you bring here, be proud because what you're saying to those who suffer that pain, that you stand with them in their pain, but you stand with them to give them the hope to carry on and I'm actually very proud to be a friend of Patsy Mackay's over many many years now a woman who herself actually is an inspiration to many many people because from her own pain she's brought hope to so many people she and you and me together we can build that chain of hope that links us together but actually builds that world of peace so as you've heard before salam shalom uh, namaste peace to every one of you and um, peace today peace on our streets in the future thanks for being here my name is Sylvia Lancaster and my daughter Sophie was murdered three years ago. Um, she was kicked to death um, by a gang of five youths. Um, and since her death we've set up the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. And what we do is we support um, young people and older people from alternative subcultures, whether that be goth, emo, punks, skaters, whatever. Um, and what we're trying to do is change the hate crime legislation to include all alternative subcultures within this. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to London and going to speak to the senior advisor to the government. Um, and we've just got some group works that we've got together. And I will be taking those along tomorrow. Um, and hopefully we'll get some support off them. Um, we're also looking at... Um, going into prisons and schools throughout the country actually and we'll be starting that in about August, September. So please keep your eyes on the news because I'm sure that um, um, we'll gather quite a few uh, supporters from that. We've also um, uh, been going around Manchester actually with Dave um, and with Goldblade once again thank you to Goldblade because um, they're amazing and they've given us so much support and the support we've had from the alternative subcultures has been massive um, we have a, a massive Facebook and a MySpace and Dave was just talking about connections and um, we've had in the last last day we've had four emails one from Manchester in New Hampshire USA uh, Newcastle in Australia, Sweden and Calgary in Canada and they've all sent their love and, um, and, and regrets that they couldn't be here with us today but they are going to join in um, and think about us all and we've also had a young man age 14 who once again sent his regrets but he's doing a piece of paper round and I think that's amazing um, and that's what we're trying to do look at differences within society within cultures and celebrate those differences just because you choose to be who you are you look like you do nobody has a right to take that from you and that's what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation stands for it's stamp out prejudice hatred and intolerance everywhere thank you over to Greg Hello everybody, I am uh, Greg Davis, I run a little group in Wivenshaw called the United <laughs> Estates, we're a collection of uh, pub landlords and uh, just people that run security companies and taxi drivers, we've been on the estate for over 10 years and we run various projects all with the message of uh, anti-street crime, anti-street violence, anti-knife crime. I've got two minutes to tell you of a conference we're putting on 5th of October in Gorton Monastery. We're not sure what it's called, we're not sure what to call it, it's going to be an unconference, uh, uh, the typical or traditional conference is a uh, hundred other people stood in a room with a clever person at the front speaking, we want nothing like that, we want totally the opposite, we want a hundred clever people in a room that have all got opinions to express, we've created 
uh, an indigenous stock exchange and we want as many people as we possibly can to attend, as many groups across the country to attend as we possibly can. We spent all last year up and down the country in places like London speaking to the Mizzens and the Kinsellas, uh, Dami Lola Taylors, uh, Dad and family. Um, we've got them to attend and we'd just like to spread the message as many people as we possibly can. I have a very strong feeling we've been about for 10 years that the people who could make the biggest difference in our, uh, the biggest difference in our estates uh, are either not listening or aren't prepared to get involved and I think it's only by standing together with the same message, shouting in the same voice that we are actually going to make a difference and I, I just hope to encourage, I'd, I'd like to encourage as many people as I can to uh, come 5th of October Gorton Monastery. It's real talk.